Hello beautiful friends, thank you for being here. It's been a little while, so, so much to get into. And I have no idea what exactly is going to come up as usual, but we're just going to flow with it. So, I hope you all are doing amazing in these very, very intensening times, fast moving times. You know, I think we have so many amazing opportunities right now more than ever before to fly, you know, to really just fly into our highest potential. And of course, this involves so much, you know, for me, I really notice it's the path we're walking, you know, as we follow the heart, it can be very, very painful, but very, very rewarding. And these are genuine rewards, you know, these are God's rewards, these are so worth it, you know, because it is something that, you know, we live in a world where there's, there's so much instant gratification and, you know, what we see, so much of what we've been shown, you know, from our culture and, you know, society and all of the mainstream things, all of them, we see a lot of proof about how instant gratification works, you know, when you sacrifice your, for the small price of your soul, <laughs> you sacrifice your soul, you can be, you know, given all of these rewards, you know, that the, that the culture may, may give you. And I don't know why this is coming up, because, you know, I think this, this goes deep for all of us, you know, no matter where you are, we live in a world where that's been so glorified, you know, these fake rewards, you know, sacrificing who you are, sacrificing your soul, compromising your truth to have society's rewards, you know, and metaphorically speaking, Satan's rewards. And, you know, we're really in this point where we, you know, we as awaken sovereign beings walking the path of heart again you know we're we're really going in in a whole new paradigm where again we are we are on the path of dedication we are on the path of devotion of reaping true rewards you know the, the rewards of love the rewards of light the rewards of slow and steady dedicated practice it's very different because you don't always, you know, and for often you don't get instant gratification on this path. And that's why faith is here. That's why faith comes in. Because as we continue to, again, walk this path, it's imperative that we keep having this faith. You know, this faith in ourselves, in the living God within, and what's not seen, what's not external. Everything is coming back within. You know, everything you're called to do is really about coming back within because when you are aligned with your true self with love with god with source with this light really that's when you're the brightest light for other beings because of course we are here to inspire and assist humanity but it's so often that we have to relearn what that really means and i think the reason this is coming up is because even though a lot of this is obvious for many of us, you know, we've been on this path, we can clearly see the difference between, um, you know, God's rewards and Satan's rewards, you know, between true love and between materialism, you know, in many different degrees. It's pretty obvious, of course, but from what I'm seeing, it's like we're getting to like these more refined aspects you know and and it really comes back to being yourself because you know i feel like we have to just have the respect and, and honor for the human experience because it's not easy you know it's not always easy some of these things but that's why we're being called to do it because if if you're resonating with this message then you have the ability to do it you know and even if you can't fully hold that right now you will be able to 
because we're really being asked to do things that we've never done before. That's really my point. And it's radical. It's radical. You know, that's what I'm experiencing right now. It's literally radical because, you know, that's really getting to the core of what I was just ex describing. You know, not sacrificing yourself for the external world, for the external approval, for, you know, the external validation at all anymore, because that's not what it's about at all. It's completely about the, again, the reverence for the living God within. And again, this is obvious. And yet, we're again, we're just, we're so programmed, you know, we've been so messed with as the human race, that you know, this can actually be really hard and in subtle ways, you know, just being who you are in every situation. But in fact, it's actually, if you think about it, it's hard, but it's way harder to not be who you are because that's your destiny. In every situation, in every relationship, you know, that's where I'm at, you know, conquering your fears. There's nothing to fear about fear. You know, for me, one of my biggest fears right now is sharing my music you know I have so many songs and things I've been working on and and literally it's terrifying I'm not gonna lie I'm just gonna be raw and vulnerable with you guys that's one of my biggest fears and, and has been for years so that's why you know I'm gonna start doing it I'm gonna start sharing music now more and more you know because that's my way of expressing myself and expressing the gifts that God gave me even though my ego doesn't understand even though my ego doesn't really doesn't it feels very inconvenient to my ego to share the songs that come through to my heart you know it's crazy you know it's crazy but that's how it is that's how many of us have been indoctrinated on this earth to hold back our voice because it's supposed to look a certain way or sound a certain way and again that's my whole point is like it's so we're so um our reality is just so twisted, you know, and again, we know this, but it's just getting deeper and deeper into these levels where so much of what we see is an illusion, you know, so much of what we think we need to be is just such an illusion. And it's just such a clever design to really confuse human beings because there's still so many human beings that don't even know how to handle that. Don't even know how to handle seeing people in their raw, authentic truth. Because it isn't what we've seen in the past, for the most part. It's not what we've heard in the past, for the most part. Considering that we have lived in such a strange land of inverted illusions. Everything is fabricated. Everything is doctored up. Everything is synthetic. Everything is fake. Everything is about this fake perfection. It's so strange, you know. It's so strange because every human being is unique. You know, every human being has flaws, you know, whether you really want to think they're flaws or whether they're God's fingerprints. So really diving into that, it's just really strange. How, how the, the conformity mindset that's so deep it's so deep that's really what I'm talking about I hope this is hitting because I feel like this is obvious but I'm I'm really wanting to speak on this on like a deeper more refined level because this is stuff that I've known for a long time and and now I'm really seeing it on deeper more refined levels how it's creeped its little tentacles into like my mind and I know that I'm not the only one you know, I think this is a big part of what's coming up for a lot of people in your own way. You know, if you're on earth, you're going through this in one way or another. And we're really doing so much transmuting and, and integrating and <sighs> witnessing. So I just wanted to share that, you know, that's really just what, what comes up. Everything is just so intensifying right now. I don't know about you guys, and I'm, I mean, you really can't make this up. Ever since January hit, it's just been like boom, 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 boom. So many opportunities, so many revelations, so much clarity. Um, another thing I want to speak on, being the observer. 
you know, and these are all things I've talked about before. I notice, and I don't even do this on purpose, but everything's always building off, you know, each video. Everything's always kind of building off each other as we develop and, you know, move forward. But being the observer so closely, <laughs> so closely, because, again, I just can't even believe sometimes how cunning these thoughts can be. And, you know, kind of going off what I was talking about in my last video, <clears throat> about unworthiness because I know many of us if not all of us have you know these kind of unworthiness wounds maybe some more than others so a huge part of what's happening right now and I can really see this in my life and many others lives so you you know I think a lot of people are going to resonate with this it's this stage of evolution where you know, it's like, it's like, a, it's so hard putting this in words. It's like a transition between who you used to be and who you are now, who you are becoming, who you really are. And it's almost like a ping pong that's happening, you know, all day long back and forth of this new, really, really powerful, really unconditionally present and loving version. You know, can you feel it? Can you tap into that? Because I can feel it. Like, I can feel that within me. And simultaneously, I can also feel, you know, this like past version, this old version of me that's also still here. That's also still, it's like, you know, it's like multidimensional. And, and what that feels like, what I mean by that is, you know, again, I can feel and tap into that high potential that's like fearless and so, you know, so powerful and so humble and just like content you know, so wise, it's who I really am. And I can also feel that past version of me, the patterns, the behaviors, you know, namely for me, it's certain um, like thought patterns that are strangely, I don't know if I want to say addictive. It's not really an addiction as much as it's just a habit of, it's like unconscious, again, these thoughts. So when you really observe them, it's crazy how like as you, level up these thoughts kind of level up with you these 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 pesky thoughts these lying thoughts is what i'm talking about and they can be so sneaky it can just be like the faintest whisper of like you might not be good enough and if you you know and that can really snowball really quickly sometimes within you know minutes or hours into oh my god, like, I'm never going to be good enough. Why can't I do this? Like, you know, that's kind of an extreme thing, but that's how these thoughts creep in. And it doesn't have to be worthiness. It could be anything. You know, again, we all have our own karma. We all have our own shadow. So just being very observant of your thoughts, I find, is so helpful. Because, again, you don't have to identify with your thoughts. You're not your thoughts, and you're not your emotions. You know, you're experiencing these things. Another thing that's kind of coming through right now is our focus is so powerful. You know, we are seriously accelerating so much right now, and we are integrating so much right now. That's a big part of what we're really doing is integration because the light is coming through. No, you know, we don't have to worry about that. The light is strong. It's just a matter of us being able to integrate it. And our focus is so powerful, and I think that it is important to keep, you know, a balance of awareness of light and dark, you know, individually and collectively, but right now more speaking personally, the light and dark within you. Being aware and honest about that with yourself. But remember, again, your focus is so powerful and what you focus on is going to continue to really expand. So what I mean by that is, you know, when your shadows come up, it's like, of course, you know, do what you got to do to heal that. If it's coming up, it's coming up. It's arising for a reason. But there's a certain point when you don't need to get so sucked into every single shadow, into every single trauma. You know, this is just my experience. There comes a point when, you know, and you know it. You know what to do. You know when it's time to dive into the trauma. And you know when it's time to just realign. You know, you don't always have to go diving in the dumpster for this stuff. Like, you can actually just keep realigning yourself with that high version of yourself that you're coming into you know that's been a message for me
again, you can't avoid your feelings. you got to feel it, but you breathe through it. And we're going to talk about breath in a second because that's been another huge one, you know, for me recently. So, yeah, you, you, you know, it's okay. It's good to be aware of, of your shadows and your traumas, but also be just, if not more, aware of your powers and your strengths and your gifts because this is the thing. When you really tend to everything that you already have going for you, that's when it starts to grow. When you really nurture what you already have now. Not trying to change it, not trying to fix it. Because think about it, when you're trying to change or fix something, about whether it's about yourself or about the world, you know, from my perspective, you're already coming at it like there's something wrong with it, which is like lack mentality. And it's not very conducive for creation or manifestation kind of stuff in your reality. You're already coming from that place of it's not good enough. Whereas when you accept that it is what it is and it is good enough and you tend to what you do love, what you do love about yourself, what you do love about humanity as it is right now, tend to that, nurture that, water that, that's the key. That's when you start to see miraculous things. And again, it's not instant gratification. This is the true path of God. This is devotion. This is dedication. This is mastery. This isn't, oh, I'm going to do something and I'm going to have instant rewards. That's not, you know, that's really not, in most cases, that's that's not what it's like. You know, instant gratification has become such a trap for many of us. And, and the funny paradox is, is when you really understand this path of dedication and devotion, small steps every single day, no matter what you're doing, little steps every single day, literally that's what it is. That's the true way to get, to move mountains, little things every single day. It's amazing what that can do, especially now that time is moving so fast. It's, it's amazing. You'll be surprised. Again, just little things every single day, that is the, that is you know, the path onto mastery. And that's when you really start to receive, you know, huge gifts, God's gifts, not materialist gifts, not Satan's gifts, not these things that you think you want that are outside of you. When you really start to get these true shifts, just little things every single day. And that's what I was saying about the paradox is once you do that enough and you start to understand this path and how it really works and you start to just have faith and, and do these little things every single day and you start noticing the rewards and the growth that you're experiencing and you when you really grok that, that's when you can actually, in a way, receive instant gratification from this path as well. Because even though there's a physical lag in what you're maybe creating, it already is. You know, it's like, I think there's a saying, like the whole acorn tree is already in the acorn. You know, you once you plant those seeds, you already know it's done. It's really done. And now you just tend to it and nurture it where it's at every single day. And literally that is how you can achieve anything. And all the contrast, all the confusion, all the pain along the way is a part of it. That's what desire really is. It's like we have this idea that desire is all about just the physical achievement. The desire is all literally about the process because think about all the things you've accomplished or are currently working on and think about, you know, yes, the accomplishment is great, but think about all the, the things you had to learn, you know, all the things you had to heal, all the things you had to witness, you know, good and bad, all the growth that you had to have. You know, it's like I said in the beginning, it's a very painful but very, very rewarding path. And it's only painful because you have to grow. That's God's path, you know. That's that's why this is mastery, because you have to grow. There's always pain involved. But again, it doesn't have to be insufferable, suffering pain. It can. It's just the fact of, it's like outgrowing a pair of shoes. It's like, I gotta take these shoes off, it's hurting my feet, and get some new shoes. <laughs> That's what it's like, because you, as, this is the crazy thing about awakening, on all levels, you know, individually, collectively, whether it's a little awakening you have, a little revelation, or whether it's like a huge game-changing moment, it changes, it changes your reality, so it's like, it's like you outgrow your old perception, and again, that's why this is so intense, is because we're given this opportunity now where this is moving faster and faster and faster, 
it's so intense. It's like the universe is giving you instant feedback to like everything you're doing, you know, and that causes all kinds of emotions in us, which is fine. You know, those emotions are amazing no matter what they are because they're not even you. They're just an experience. They're just a celebration. It's just a confirmation that you're alive. <laughs> you, you came here for this. You know, you can't get this anywhere. I hope you know that. The things that you're experiencing here, as treacherous as they may seem sometimes, you can't get this anywhere. So I say you might as well appreciate it. That's how I feel. You know, even when I'm going through it, I'm so happy to be here at this time. You know, whatever I'm going through personally, I'm so happy to be here at this time because this is truly incredible. And I think we know that. I think we're seeing that now with everything that's unfolding. And it, and it really is just the beginning of, of this. So I know it's all over the place, but yet it's always all connected. That seems to be the theme of this video now that it's developing is just really that difference between you know, the path of external validation, that's what I mean when I'm saying, like, Satan's path, um, you know, words, you know, it's the path of deception, it's the path of instant gratification, it's the path, on a, a severe level, it's the path of selling your soul for five minutes of fame, you know, the path of lust and greed, and huge, huge folly, <laughs> because obviously it's not worth it, Obviously, it's an illusion. Obviously, it's a very empty and hollow way to live. And for many of us, it's some, and I, I really feel this, this is for me, for many of us, we're, it's almost like our higher self is like not even allowing us to take that path. That's another reason why this is so challenging. You know, it's almost like our higher self is safeguarding us from that path. Like, obviously, we have free will. But there's a reason everything is unfolding as it is. Because our higher self... I feel like more in this time than ever before, at least for thousands of years, our higher self, if you're listening to this and you're resonating with this, it's not just about manifesting whatever you want. It's a, it's about manifesting your highest purpose. Again, painful but rewarding. So rewarding. The rewards outweigh the pain a million times, for sure. You know, as you just keep going. Because that's, that's what I mean when I say God's path. Again, it's the path of mastery, of dedication, of love, of growth. It's not always instant physical manifestation. Because honestly, none of those external physical things matter at all. Again, they're just the cherry on top. None of them matter. It's all about the internal experience, which perhaps that's the last thing that I'll really say on this note. It's all about the internal experience more and more. You know, this is sometimes a painful thing to accept because it's, again, it's so different. It's so new. It's such a new paradigm. There's just so much letting letting go or maybe integrating rather to be done when you really start to step into this. Because it's also the the, the realization that you have to really accept and love and honor yourself as you are now as you are right now as you are right now nothing else needed you know you don't need this thing you don't need that person's approval you don't need that person's love you don't need anything else you're literally perfect as you are right now if you can nurture that you know that's that real quick expansion and acceleration it's miraculous so the real last thing I want to say, this is going to segue into something different. I'm going to keep this video pretty short. So much love. It's so good to be back. It's so good to feel your guys' energy. You know, it's just such a blessing. I'm, I'm so grateful to be connected to these beautiful, beautiful souls. Um, so one of the other, you know, this is actually totally relevant. Speaking of everything we need is within. More and more, so this is a little more like practical thing that I want to talk about and probably talk about this more in upcoming videos but something amazing that I'm coming to find more is how much the most powerful medicine is literally within us you know what I mean like supplements and all these things you can go buy and go do it's great you know follow your intuition but but actually the most powerful things are, are within us the most powerful medicine is within us abundantly starting with the breath
breath is like the number one way that you excrete toxins and old energy, you know, on all levels. And of course, it's the number one way you take in new miraculous life. It's something that's so simple and so taken for granted. The breath is really how we can get through this, you know, take being mindful of your breath. When you are observing your thoughts, when you, maybe you are feeling confused or you are feeling that conflicting energy or whatever the case is, you literally have it, your breath. Your breath's got you your back because it was designed that way. You know, and that's the last thing I want to say because this is directly related is, again, we're going to come to find this more and more. You know, there's things that in months from now, we're going to know things really deeply that right now we can't even fathom. That's how fast we're moving. That's the that's ascension. That's awakening. We're so designed to think that we need something outside of ourselves, that we need, you know, whatever the case may be, we need medicine or we need someone else to do it for us or um, whatever the case is when literally it's all within us. You know, whether you want to talk about it's your breath and it is your breath. Our breath is so much more than we know. It's Again, it's so taken for granted because it's so simple and it's so innate. And that's why it's so powerful, truly. You know, ask ask your higher self for, you know, ask, ask for guidance on how to tap into your breath more because that really is an important way of going forward because you're always going to have your breath if you're alive. That's, how you, that's one way you can really stay sovereign and stay safe in your breath. And obviously there's the medicine of your own energy, you know, even deeper, you know, connected to that. And another thing, I'm not going to talk about this too much, that has been introduced to me recently, and this is the craziest thing. It's not that crazy, but, <laughs> and I'm interested to see how many people are aware of, of, of something called urine therapy. I just feel called to share this, look into it, you know, research it. Because it's something I've been researching and, you know, I'm just amazed at what I find. Because there's a lot of really amazing people that are coming are coming out with some pretty miraculous statements about, you know, again, urine therapy. Again, look into it. Obviously, it's it's something that can be hard to find because it's all every the internet is so overcrowded with all the mainstream stuff now it's insane but i'm just going to leave that there for now and if you're interested i can talk more about it because i think it's a, a huge game changer and if it is as powerful as many people are claiming it is in their experience many doctors and people that i actually really respect and you know i have my own experience that i'm having it's a huge game changer because it means that Literally, the most powerful medicine is, is literally within you, and it's infinite, and it's abundant, and it's always coming out. <laughs> it's a part of you. So, you know, some people call it plasma. Plasma, and then breath, and your own inner spirit. Literally, we have everything we need within us, and that's how we were designed. Fasting is another, another thing that's really huge right now for many reasons, and I'm not going to get into that too much right now either. Because I kind of did want to touch on these more practical things. Fasting is just so amazing, you know, for many of us right now. Coming back to who we are and, you know, I think I'll leave it there for now. <laughs> I think I'll leave it there for now. Just want to kind of throw that in there because I think it's really helpful and, and I think a lot of people resonate with it. And at the very least, it's something that, you know, you can kind of digest or, or look into if you're interested or just plant the seed. But I hope this is helpful again just flowing there's so much to talk about it's kind of been a while so i think there's a little bit of a backlog but you know it is what it is for a reason so much love to you sending so much love to you guys so much gratitude thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for your love and your support <sighs> so awesome so grateful i will see you next time